Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Bedr Dean and in this video we'll learn how to use Kyle Microvision IDE with .gfx templates. I will start by launching .gfx designer 4.17 and .gfx designer is a GUI builder that lets you easily build the visual appearance of your graphics application. Here from the lobby, I go to the examples on the left hand side and then click on select board setup. In this video, I'll use STM32H7B3 Discovery Kit. Click select here and then from the list of the examples, I'll go with clock example. Give a name to my application. STM32H7B3 Discovery Kit underscore microvision and then click create. Now TouchGFX Designer will download the template from the internet. From the left hand side I'll click on files and here I have all of the TouchGFX files I go up by one level here and then here I have my STM32 CubeMX file or IUC file. I'll double click on it. Here I have my STM32 CubeMX project open. I'll go to Project Manager tab here and then from the Toolchain IDE drop down box I'll select MDK ARM. This is the uh, Kyle Microvision IDE. Select it and then click Generate Code. I'll open the project. Here I have my uh, Microvision project open. Before I build it, I go back to TouchGFX Designer and I see TouchGFX Designer detected something changed in the configuration files. I click Yes. And then I need to generate the code again. This is required to have TouchGFX Designer generate the code taken into account that Microvision will be used instead of STM32 Cube ID. Once this generated co code is done, I go back to Kyle Microvision and reload the configuration. Now I'm ready to build the project. I'll click on the rebuild icon here. I have the build done successfully. And then I see here the build time was 2 minutes 54 seconds. If I want to make the build time shorter, I can go to the project options. Click here, options for target. And then output. And then uncheck BIOS information. Click OK, I build again, and now I see the build time was 14 seconds. Then I need to check the flash loaders are set up correctly. I need to go to uh, target options here, and then debug tab, and then settings, and then flash download tab. And I see here there is no flash loader selected for the template. So I need to add it. So click add. And then I see here that this is the flash loader for the internal flash, on chip flash. Click add. And then I need to add the external flash loader for the OctoSpy. Click add again. And then I see here for the STM32H7B3 discovery board, we have the flash loader for the OctoSpy from Macronex. I click Add, and then for the RAM algorithm, I need to change the size to 128 kilobytes. That is the, the size of the DTCM RAM. And change it to 20000. This is 128 kilobytes. And then click OK. OK one more time. And then click on Debug icon to download and then start the debug session.
Now I can start the code execution. I click on run this icon here or F5 on the keyboard. Now I see on the display of the STM32H7B discovery board the second hand of the analog clock moving. Thank you for joining me in this video and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to use Kyle Microvision IDE with TouchGFX templates.